Jordan is hilarious as hell. A big round of applause to Kyle Adams. Outburst of optimism. But thank you very much, guys. You didn't know it was an acronym, did you? Um, I love that question, how's it going? Because it, I get such a wide range of responses at work. I get this one. Say, how's it going? It's going. I don't know where it's going, but it sure is going. And that's literally like the most depressing thing you can say to another human being. I know it's like casual and it's like cute and sarcastic or whatever, but it's literally what, if you read the subtext, this is what you're saying. My life is meaningless. I have no recollection of my days. <laughs> it's gone. I wish I could be honest when people ask me that question. How's it going, Kyle? You know, I'm, I'm trying to find that like comfortable balance of like nihilism and not giving a shit, but at the same time, I want to better myself. And I think that's where true confidence lies, but maybe that's selfish. How's it going with you? <laughs> well, I just can't do that. It's too deep for, for Red Robin. Um, <laughs> But I, I'm a millennial, and we communicate through t-shirts. <laughs> that goes. We have an awesome t-shirt if you want to have an awkward conversation in the back, but for a little bit, I'll be available. Um, I, it's funny, it's just like, it's, it's like a sticker for what I consume. You know, if, if I wore a United States flag on my shirt, I would consume consumption with what that would be. <laughs> um, and, I don't, know, I, I don't know where you guys lie with the Illuminati and everything, but uh, a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide jump, me. Um, so I don't know where you guys lie with that, but um, I think you know a lot of people don't want you revealing the secrets of the Illuminati, and they, uh, you know, the, the saying right now may be "stitches get stitches," but uh, when we prove that there are carcinogens in genetically modified organisms, it'll be consumer to tumors. <laughs> uh, I got one more thing uh, that might scare you millennials. Uh, this, this is a fact. Um, you know, you remember those Tamagotchi digital pets? Yes. So there's a whole generation of kids that let their Tamagotchis die wedged in their mom's couch cushions that now have children wedged in their mom's couch cushions. <laughs> Oh, uh, and it's, it's scary because they want to defund Planned Parenthood at the same time, and it scares the shit out of me because it's a bad combination. And uh, I, I think it, we're a little more progressive out in Oregon and Portland as well. Um, I think that if they're going to defund Planned Parenthood, we should start our own branch. It's not going to be, um, it's not going to be Planned Parenthood, though. It's going to be quadruple O, kind of like triple A. It's going to be um, Oregonians organizing organic orgasms. And uh, <laughs> all, the, all the Portland ladies involved because they're like, oh, there's this you know, you use the organics here. Uh, I gotta ask you, though, it's like, is uh, do you use any pesticides? It's like, well, for many viewpoints, ma'am, abortion is uh, a <laughs> pesticide. <laughs> I, I, I think we, we either need to do that, or we just need to put Planned Parenthood in every fast food restaurant in the nation. <laughs> I mean, it, it's quick, it's simple, it's easy. And R U four eighty six abortion pill goes down real smooth with a creamy milkshake, <laughs> and it's there. You have it. Um, I, I don't know when it comes to politics, though. It's like. Um, we're all chasing like nostalgia, you know, and, and every single one of us, you know, in this country. And it's not a good thing to follow. I want to give you one really good example. So when I was a kid, I loved this movie called Surf Ninjas. I don't know if anyone's seen Surf Ninjas. Yeah. Uh, this is right here, dude, in Surf Ninjas. And my memory of him, he was this nuanced man. He was charismatic and funny. And everything, every moment with him on the screen was the best part of the movie. I looked that up now, 20 years later, on IMDb. Right here, guys, Rob Schneider. Uh, <laughs> nostalgia will fucking blind you, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, and like I was saying before, we got um, you know reboots and redos in Hollywood. Now we have them in Washington, D.C. And I, the only person that I could go with is Bernie Sanders, honestly. And I know a lot of people feel that way, but at the same time, I, um, I feel like Bernie Sanders is like the grandfather I never had. Telling me fairy tales. <laughs> Grandpa Bernie, tell me the one about free college again. Will we really rebuild our infrastructure? <laughs> Only if you believe, Kyle. <laughs> Only if you believe. So, anything's better than where I'm from, though. I, I come from Florida, so I apologize. Um, the sun may have cooked my brain. Oh, just a little bit. 
Um, but the thing about Florida is everyone's an asshole down there, and the only thing to do is to jump in a pool because it's so hot. So I realized that Florida is full of chlorinated assholes. So if I ever end up going back down there, I'm gonna start my own business venture. It's gonna be the world's first uh, tanning salon and anal bleaching in one. We <laughs> call it uh, Bleach Butthole Beach Tanning Salon. <laughs> I've got a nifty little jingle uh, for my business venture. You guys wanna hear it? Yeah. 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 Come on down to Bleach Butthole Town. We'll turn your brown pots white and your white pots brown. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't see. Like this harmonica, your butthole will be so clean, no one will be able to resist putting their mouth on it. Thank you very much, guys. Kyle Adams, everybody. Nice job. Kyle, you should talk to the audience after the show, because before you even finish in the name of your business about bleach buttholes, one guy's like, yes. <laughs> Possible investor, I don't know. Uh, or just have a butthole. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, 